Hi there. Now that I've got a decent weapon, let's go have a chat. Oh god. The stranger leader is barefoot and bleeding and only has a punch for a weapon. And by the way, when I said I'm going to go say hi, I mean literally I'm going to I'm going to offer to talk. Also, why is the name so blurry? Look at that. Stranger. It, it's incredibly blurry. Weird. Makes me feel like my vision's going out, but everything else is perfectly fine. Okay, offer to talk. Uh, retreated. Okay, bye. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so there's this guy here that's running. And then there's this guy here who has what looks like a sharpened stake. A picture is forming in my mind of what happened. This guy stabbed that guy? Hold on, I'm gonna offer to talk with him again. Okay. Or, or she, actually. Honey, I'm tired of walking, she admits. Then, in a lower voice, but I ain't that tired. Uh, are you... Are you sure? You're bleeding. Like, I could help you. I mean, if you want to keep walking and bleeding, be my guest. What the hell? Who fresh meat off the farm, she cackles. This place is gonna pick you clean, she adds, walking past you. Okay, fine, you crazy asshole. Keep bleeding. Bye. Wait, there's another person just there. Did they fight? Doesn't doesn't seem like it. Anyway, how am I doing? Oh, about halfway to the glow. Cool. Right, well, there's too many people around here for me to be comfortable, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to hide my tracks. Why didn't that seem to actually work? My tracks seem to still be there. Hmm. Ooh, painkillers. And there's actually one pill, or one dose of pills inside of it. Cool. Alright, let's get some water balls going on. That is not how I wanted to sort it the game. Let's not sort it that way. Let's put like bottles next to like bottles. All the green ones together. There we go. I like it that way. Perfect. Player is thirsty. Oh yeah! Water. Kind of- oh god. I was gonna go for this water, but now there's a stranger in the way. <clears throat> I don't see a weapon. And I do want water. Let's go have a chat. Only condition is frail. And they only have a punch. Let's talk. They ran away. Understandable, I'd probably do the same. Okay, let's drink. I... Yeah, I didn't actually want to scavenge. There we go. Okay, let's fill up my bottles now. I love how when you put water inside of a cornicola plastic bottle, it turns yellow anyway, as if it actually had soda in it. Magical bottle. 
I guess the color comes from the plastic. Who knows? Okay, good on water. Pretty good on food. Some berries would be nice. In fact, let's go grab some berries right now. Holy shit. That stranger looks geared up, and I think they might be holding a gun. Don't come towards me. Oh, fuck, there's two of them. Okay, I need to hide. In fact, I might just sleep here. My tracks do lead to here, though, which is not good. Hmm. Okay, I'll sleep one over. Oh, God. Another stranger. Hide my tracks here. There we go. Alright, so my tracks don't actually lead here, which is what I want. At least one separation, one, one hex away from my tracks. Now, let's make a shelter. Okay. Terp. Wood. String. Big string. There we go. Also, what was the other thing? Rough splint. Is that for like a broken leg? Or a crippled leg, maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay, there we go. Now let's make a fire. Hmm. Wait a minute, do I want a fire? It makes me more visible. No, I don't need a fire, my temperature is fine. Yeah, let's not make a fire. Alright, so we're gonna sleep in the woods, which gives me a little gives me a little bit of shelter. And this switch gives me a lot of shelter. And let's sleep. <laughs> Look at that, once again I went unconscious and I fell to the ground. I'm thinking that's just the normal I think that's just a really a really crude way of saying that I went to sleep. I think the unconscious part means literally I'm asleep, and I think the fall into ground part means that I'm just on the ground. So rather than adding in specific descriptions for that, I think the developer probably just used the combat status effects that were kind of already in place. The fall into ground thing, which is like the tripping thing. That's my guess. How long did I actually sleep for? I don't know, but I'm going back to sleep, because I'm still not well rested. God damn it. Yeah, this insomniac thing is not working out. I need, like, sleeping pills or something. Ooh, hold on, what if I become an alcoholic? Wait, seriously? I'm, I'm drunk because I drank one hit of this whiskey? No, let's keep going. Okay, can I fall asleep now? What the hell? Something approaches as you slumber. No. No. What? What is it? <laughs> I'm strong, I'm tough, I'm pulling a sled with a string. I'm also unable to run, I'm drunk, I'm unconscious, and I've fallen. And I'm blind. Uh, okay. What is it? Was that like a nightmare or something? Seems kind of like it was a nightmare. Okay, well I got some sleep. Let's keep sleeping. I had trouble falling asleep. Again. No, I'm still drunk. Oh, fuck. 
fuck, I'm hungover. Still had trouble falling asleep. God damn it. Ooh, there we go. Yes, I actually got some sleep. Thank the gods. And now I'm thirsty. Fair enough. There we go. Hmm. Do I still have those saltines? No. Did I eat them or did I forget them? Ah, whatever. They probably give me like two calories or something. Okay, back on track. Towards the right and a little bit down is where I need to go. Get some water here. Hold on, I'm pretty sure this can fit two. Get in there. There you go. Yeah, people don't want to fuck with me. Or if it's because of the crowbar or the dogman fur coat. What the hell? That's weird. I thought <laughs> my brain just broke. I said, ooh, because I thought, ooh, another crowbar. No, I'm scavenging. What the hell? That's my current crowbar. <clears throat> I'm losing my mind. Shitty shoe. <laughs> another t shirt. Why not? Alright, I don't think I need any more bottles. Got enough. Ooh, more pills. Pills here. Right, so I could take the bottle, but there's really no point. Instead, I might as well just empty it out and just put that inside of my other bottle. There we go. Now I've got two. How's my bag looking? 66%. 34, 53. All right, so my current bag is still better. I'll take some string. Can never have too much string. Oh, here we go. Here's some recipes. Split that. There we go. Hold down shift to split stacks, by the way. Two separate recipes. Binoculars with strap and sterilized water. Right. I can actually sterilize all my water. I've been drinking water indiscriminately. But I actually have a pot and I can make fires. I should do that. All right, so let's take these just so I know the recipes. And then let's put them back. So they should show up, right? Sterilized water. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, what is he holding? I don't know what he's holding. I'm trying to puzzle it out. Hmm. Player's brown t-shirt has fallen apart. No, my shirt. <laughs> I'm, trying to I'm trying to imagine somebody's shirt just literally falling off. That'd be weird. Alright, I feel like sterilizing some water. Let's do it. I can do it in under a turn, I think. can make a double fire. Okay, and... Pot. And... 
sterilized water. Excellent. There we go. Shove that stuff back in the bottles. Let's go up and around this guy. Let's also hide my tracks here. Whoops. I'm going to do that. There we go. Hmm. Sleeping bag. Nah, the thing is, though, it's kind of huge. In fact, I don't think I have room for it. Yeah, it's huge, and I don't need it for warmth. I'm doing fine on temperature. I've got so much clothes. didn't find anything. I'm such a brute. I go in scavenging, and I'm just like smashing everything with my crowbar and my strong ability. Just like, uh, give me loot! Just like busting down doors by headbutting them and stuff. Yeah, even with all of these three abilities, my actual chance of loot is pretty crap. Ooh, got lucky. Oh man, my dogman fur coat is at 99.4% condition. This thing is going to last forever. Unlike me. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? <laughs> I just realized that I left my lean to back at my camp. It's perfectly okay though, because I have another tarp. So I can just make another one, but yeah, I've got to remember to take it with me. I'm actually going to take another tarp, because I'm probably going to forget again. Okay. Right shoe, 40%. Worse. Ooh. 66%. Better. Viper Tactical Boot. Can I actually wear different shoes? Looks kind of badass, doesn't it? Like I'm so care I'm so cool I don't even care about having mismatched boots. Yeah. Could I actually wear this thing over what I have? No, I can't. I say keep it as a backup, but I really don't need it as a backup. This thing's gonna last forever, my coat. Let me see what I can turn it into. Alright, can I cut it? Yeah, I can reduce it to small animal hides and a bunch of string. <laughs> what about my trapping ability? Okay, let's reduce it. Then, let's see what I can make from that. Let's run some string. Okay, there's something. String. Rags. Yeah, see what I can make. I can reconstruct it, it's pointless. Hmm. I can make gloves. I can make a sling. Let's make some gloves. Um, I don't have enough moves to actually do it, though. Go. 
Excellent. That looks really weird. I don't think that's a layering properly. Well, maybe it is. Anyway, cool. Okay, I don't really need to take more animal hide with me. No point. At least I don't see a point at the moment. Binoculars and sterilized weight. That's the one I just did, right? I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh shit, why is my wrist strap here? I was going to leave my wrist strap on the ground. Put that back on. Yeah, this is the point in the game where I get so confused with how many things there are that I don't even know what to do. I, I, I think I've got everything. I think so. I'm just going to go. Ooh, I'm actually really close to the glow. I don't even think I need to scavenge, do I? Hmm, you know what? Actually, I should scavenge the forest with my botany skill to get some food. Also, I should drink. Yeah, let's use my body skill. Poison berries. At least these are edible. They don't give you much food, berries and mushrooms, but it is something. Let's do the same thing here. God, the chance of loot is terrible. Nothing found. Oh, fuck. Uh, I have no moves left. Please don't come towards me. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I'm going this way. Ooh. As you step into a clearing, you finally see the source of that eastern glow. It's a city. Larger than anything you've ever seen. Skyscrapers, and their bigger brothers. Arcologies, stand shoulder to shoulder, casting their glittering lights into the sky. Hovering lights flit around the super towers like fireflies. A massive wall encircles their base, with armed buttresses like glowing points on a crown. And radiating out from that wall, a shantytown of crumbling buildings, shacks, and tarpaulin twos. Relief at the sight of civilization almost overtakes you, until you realize you still have to make it there. Indeed, I'm not that close yet. Maybe I'll just continue on my way there. Let's do that. Please don't follow me. Okay, I don't think they're following me. Let's make it there before night, huh? Oh, I th think that... Yeah, okay. Whew. This is the place. I, I don't know if you're actually a guard. No, you're a stranger. Just don't come towards me. Don't come towards me, stranger. Maybe it is a guard. Hell if I know. Okay, here we go. Navigating the twisty maze of shacks and tarp shelters. Detroit's massive walls stand as a constant backdrop to the east. Easily half a dozen stories high, and probably almost as thick, the city walls are an impressive sight to behold. Armed towers, bristling with surveillance arrays, stand at regular intervals, keeping watch over the sprawl, and likely the city within. Before you, giant vid screens on the three gatehouses flash instructions about past requirements and threat levels, as flocks of people stream into and out of the gates. You take your place in line on the right, with the others entering the city. 
When you reach the front of the line, a sinking feeling overcomes you. Heavily armed guards in full combat armor are checking attendees with some sort of scanning device. You're pretty sure that whatever these other folks have, have to get in, you're missing it. When it's your turn, the guard stops you and turns to a monitor installed in the wall. A message reads, Device not detected. Entrance denied. With the efficiency and compassion of an assembly line worker, he directs you away from the line, back outside. Unfortunately, getting entrance to the city may be trickier than just showing up. Back outside, you cross the muddy square and stop to survey the area. Where do you go now? Would anyone in the sprawl know about the cryo facility? You're startled when you notice a man has been watching you. He's wearing a long brown coat and matching hat and leans on a walking stick. From this distance, you can almost see the glint of his eyes below the trilby's brim, though it's probably just your imagination. He takes his time approaching you, and as he nears, you notice there's a heavy... maquillage on his face? I don't know what that means. It reminds you of one of those old portraits you'd see in a history textbook. Folks call me Hatter, he says matter-of-factly. I think we may be able to help each other out. Come with me. Hatter's office is in the husk of one of those flophouse hotels you'd see crammed between high-rises in a busy city. He even has the old marquee hanging precariously from the cornerstones. Several floors up, armed guards watch over the streets in missing sections of the building. Hatter acknowledges the men at the door and leads you through a surprisingly clean lobby to an old-fashioned elevator. I have a client, he starts, pausing for the cage to rattle shut, who collects heirlooms. He speaks louder over the motor. He compensates well, well enough, in fact, that I'd be willing to part with a DMC visitor's pass in exchange. The elevator clunks to a halt, and the door rattles open, revealing a dark room lit by video screens and old lamps. Stepping off the elevator, it feels like you've walked into a control center built into an antique store. Baubles and relics crowd the walls and tabletops, while video screens and computer consoles cast a bluish tint on a handful of armed guards. Hatter crosses the room to sit at a low, broad desk, facing the elevator. There's a lake. He pulls a worn, uh, a worn road atlas from a desk drawer, about a day's walk northwest of here. Inside a building there is a silver urn. He pages through the atlas to a map of Michigan. My guess is that you know a thing or two about getting around out there, and maybe this could be your ticket into the DMC. He pauses to look up at you. Interested? Hmm. <laughs> I can use my trapping skill to say it's a trap. What does it even do? That sounds like a horrible option, because I don't even know what that's going to say. What's a trap? Like, the whole mission's a trap? I'm going to accuse him of trying to screw me over or something? Uh... I'm just going to accept it. Because I really want in there. I think I'm going to have to get in there if I want answers, and I don't know any other way to do that. I'll take it. Glad to hear it, he says. He spreads the map of Michigan out on, his, on the desk, and motions for you to come closer. The urn is in a shack near Hidden Lake, out on Old Seven Gables Road. He points out the location to you on the map. You bring me that urn, and the visitor's pass is yours. Okay. Jesus Christ, this map is big, huh? Northwest. Oh god, where am I? I guess I'll just go. Uh, 
はい。You have a military rifle with a strap. Is he trying to kill me? Want to talk? Oh, he, they actually do want to talk. Whew. Okay. Was at the 55 by the 2 0. He stopped speaking into a radio, disappointed at the interruption. What you need? Um. What's the story with the swamp? What? Why, why does the swamp contain water? What? Uh. Also. Is, is there actually a story about the swamp? What, what is the swamp? Sure, what's the story about the swamp? Chemical wash, he responds quickly. Nobody's permitted down there. Highly toxic. Yeah, but why? Some crops got out of control back in that day. Had to burn them with chemicals. His radio pipes up and he turns slightly from you. Then he walks away, speaking into the mic. Wait, some crops got out of control back in the day, had to burn them with chemicals? What the fuck? What kind of crops are we talking about? Like, man eating crops? Like, evil plants from the Fallout universe that want to attack you? That's what I'm thinking of. The world has obviously, the world has obviously gone to shit, so. I'm guessing that's part of it. Out of control plants. Okay. What, who the hell are you? Actually, you know what? I need to sleep. I'm not even visible. I'm just gonna retreat. Okay, yeah, I need to sleep. Oh, fuck. Is it you again? Just get away from me. Okay, I need somewhere to sleep. I might be able to sleep back here, but I've already kind of moved away, so screw it. Yeah, I'll make a shelter here. That'll be fine. Ooh. Disposable plastic shopping bags in good condition. Take that. Okay. Let's make another lean-to, and this time let's not forget it. Wait, did I not make it? Shit, I don't think I crafted it. Let's try that again. Oh, I don't have enough moves to craft. Gotta put the shelter on its side to actually fit within this. There we go. Kinda awkward. Alright, excellent shelter. And good sleep. Getting a little bit of sleep in. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Sleep. Okay. Decently well rested. Okay, short-term goal is satisfy my hunger. I have everything for the water, that's no problem. Let's do that right now. There we go, need more water so I can sterilize it. 
But hunger is the most pressing need, so I'm going to try to satiate my hunger on my way to the hidden, hidden lake. So I need to be scavenging forests. Oh shit, there's a stranger with a gun and I have no moves left. Please don't come towards me. Okay, I think they left. Kinda. Just keep, yeah. Keep going that way. I'm gonna find food. A terrible chance of loot. I think, I'm pretty sure the chance of getting loot from locations near to the, the DMZ, or whatever this, the glow place is called, I'm pretty sure the chance of finding loot near it is lower than other spots because it's uh, presumably, I'm assuming it's such a highly active place with so many people coming in and out of it that the closer you get to it, the more picked clean everything is. I'm assuming that's what's going on. Edible, edible. Damn. Okay, that's a death cap, but these are all edible. So, helped a little bit. Store that water for purification. I guess I'll just grab some more water from here, huh? Why not? Yeah, it doesn't seem to always actually fill with two. It doesn't quite stack properly. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and sterilize it. Yeah, I mean, you can see how lucky it was that I actually found this lighter. Because, as you can see, I haven't found a single additional lighter. I've been relying on this for the past... Almost two hours. I got really lucky. And my pot and my water. Hold on, one of these should be emptied. I'll just drink it. Also, do you realize that I forgot something? Remember I said I picked up an extra tarp because I'm pretty sure I'd forget to take my shelter again? Guess what I did? I forgot to take my shelter again. <sighs> oh well. I should probably keep getting food. Oh, there we go. Loot chance is going up. Oh, yeah. Way up. A lot of buildings around here, too. Let's get some more berries. More food. Poison, edible, edible. Yeah, you can see the botany skill is very useful. In fact, it kind of makes it hard to die from starvation, actually.
Some pieces of an old newspaper. Foiled again. A protester associated with an international peace movement was arrested Thursday after bypassing the active denial system perimeter at Camp Grayling in a tinfoil or tin, yeah, tinfoil suit. Jack Haley, 43, of Grayling, Michigan, was cited on suspicion of trespassing on government property. He was found by security forces after crossing a runway, wearing a reflective suit composed of aluminum foil. <laughs> it is believed the foil allowed him to bypass the ADS unharmed. When asked if this constituted a failure in the ADS, an army spokesman responded by saying, We had a breach, we responded, and everybody walked away healthy. He said, I don't think we have any more concerns today than we had before. Wait, you you can bypass it with a friggin' tinfoil suit? Oh my god. Amazing. Alright, what's the other one say? Clear the air. Last week's smallpox outbreaks in Chicago, Minneapolis, and Denver may have prompted a, nation, a nationwide grounding of all air travel. I just realized, I just say Minion, Minneapolis? What the fuck did I just say? Minneapolis? Minneapolis. There we go. But the pandemic smallpox continues to spread around the world. Researcher Gary Barty of the Health Protection Agency in the UK says this is no surprise. Using data that modeled the effects of travel restrictions on the spread of a pandemic, Barty showed that even in the best case scenario, a pandemic would merely be postponed by several weeks. This is assuming that 99.9% .9 of all travelers are stopped after the first case. As you can see, he says, it delays things a bit, but even such an extreme intervention is not effective. Okay, I'm going to hide my tracks. Edible? 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 Not edible. This might be all the food I need. Look at this. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on food. Oh shit. Go on by. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna head straight there. I don't need food. Might sleep along the way. be near. Where is it? Eh, not that close. Hmm. Edible berries. Didn't even have to search for them. Oh shit, I just clicked out of the game. Didn't mean to do that. Hold on. My recording equipment shut down. Or went off screen, rather. Just pulled it back up. Is it actually still working? Uh, yeah, it's still working. Okay. And now it's suddenly nighttime. Wonderful. <sighs> okay, I need to sleep again. Oh, here we go. Forest. Perfect. To make another shelter that I'm also going to forget to take, probably. Wait, any old spot on the ground is the only available campsite? Aren't I'm in a forest, aren't I? Oh well, whatever. Come on, go to sleep. You piece of shit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh. 
good enough, I guess. I'll keep sleeping. Oh, my cardboard box box fell. As <laughs> my cardboard box fell asleep is what I was about to say. Oh my god, what's happening to me? Let's try that again. My cardboard box fell apart. Also, I'm thirsty. Eh, I'll deal with the box later. I'm gonna keep sleeping. All right, good enough. Yeah, that insomniac thing is harder to deal with than I expected. Let's do some drinking. Excellent. Damn, the music just got creepy. I feel like I'm about to die now. Also, I wish I kept another plastic bag. Do I have one in here? Oh, I do, thank god, okay. Ooh. Okay, no big deal. A bit less storage space in my box, but still works fine. Now, where's this thing? Ooh, I'm really close. I think. Yep, straight left. I should get some water. Feel, player feels nauseous and has uncontrollable bouts of vomiting and diarrhea. What the fuck happened? No. Is that from drinking unpurified water for a while? Do I have cholera? Wait there. Couple questions. One, when did I get cholera? And two, what the hell do I do to deal with it? Fuck. I'm not even entirely sure what cholera is or what it does. Well, apparently causes diarrhea and vomiting. <clears throat> I only have painkillers, so it's not gonna help. <laughs> there's nothing I can do, is there? I don't think so. Oh, there's a hidden lake. What the hell? The person's wearing a strange mask. Okay, I guess I'll scavenge this place and hope I can find meds. Unlikely, though. It's another shopping bag. It's only 10%, though, I'll leave it. Ooh, this rifle scope is apparently worth a lot more. Look at that. 40 bucks? 2 bucks. Oh, it's probably just a condition. This thing's about to fall apart. All right, let's do some crafting. Let's get the string. Oh, I need to end my turn. Let's get my string back. And I'll just leave that for some poor sap to pick up. I hope I didn't ac accidentally eat something poisonous. Okay. Here we go. I have seen this encounter. I have seen this encounter. 
You're in for something good. Let me get a stretch in before this gets going. Okay. And a drink of water. Gotta prepare for this one. Okay. We're gonna get ourselves an urn. Sounds like a simple job, right? Yeah. As you make your way down Old Seven Gables Road, you feel a growing sense of unease. There's an unnatural silence here, except for the whispering of air moving through branches, bare of all but a few dead leaves. Your footsteps are impossibly loud on the waterlogged bed of reeds and leaves, announcing your presence. Ahead, you can see the silhouettes, the silhouette of the house, dark, lonely, and in disrepair. The old split level looks like it may have been a home for a family once, judging by the rusty swing set. As you approach the house, you realize the place has been barricaded from the inside. Someone has hastily nailed boards across the windows on both floors, and stacked heavy objects, and stacked heavy objects are visible through the broken doors. Someone was afraid of something either inside or outside of that house. Not knowing which was the case only makes you more uneasy. All right, I can leave or just enter. Well, I need the friggin' urn, so I'm gonna enter. You climb the few steps to the front door and realize it's been forced open, just enough to let a person through. Taking a deep breath, you gather your courage and press through. Instantly upon entering, a sense of dread overcomes you. You definitely feel a malevolent presence, and worse, you feel it knows you're here. You're on a landing between floors, and stairs go to the main floor on your left, and to the basement on your right. I don't know about you, but I don't relish the thought of going into the basement of a creepy-ass house. I'm gonna go upstairs. Climbing over, climbing over debris up the stairs, you reach a T-intersection, with the living room opening up to your right. There is a musty smell up here, with a faint, sickening sweetness. Across the living room, you see a hutch, surrounded in broken dishes. And atop it, a silver urn. You cross the moldy room to the hutch, retrieve the urn, and look closely at it. It's then that you suddenly feel vulnerable, like your back is exposed. You feel several tremors, like someone is crossing the floor rapidly behind you, startling, startling you into turning around. To see four upright corpses. Down the hall, past the stairway, four corpses hang in nooses from the ceiling, each in a state of decay. And the closest to you hasn't been here long. Let's see. If I can just linger upstairs at Seven Gables. I don't think I want to linger. No thanks. Okay, um. Let's see. Downstairs. Don't I have to go downstairs to leave? I'm a little bit confused. I have the option to either leave or go downstairs. But don't I have to go downstairs to leave? So. Not entirely sure what's up with that. By the way, I should mention this encounter is very dangerous. Meaning I might die here. I'm gonna leave. Oh, I I actually got out alive. Okay, yes, um, that encounter can go many different ways. Many of which lead to death. You gotta be very careful in there. It doesn't just use suggestive language just to make you kind of scared. You will die there. It will happen. Ooh, berries. Okay, there's the silver urn. Wait a minute. 
Wait, I haven't left yet? I just, like, went to the... Oh, did I just go to the item screen? Oh, fuck, I haven't even left yet. God, I might not even live. Oh, Jesus. No. No. Okay. Wait, if I just put the urn inside of my sled, does, it, does that mean I actually have been dragging the sled up the stairs into the... <laughs> into the house? Okay. Anyway. Please let me leave. You reach the barricaded front door and start squeezing your way back outside. You're caught, though, and as you struggle, you hear clamoring on the stairs behind you. Too narrow to turn and see what it is, you push more frantically to get through. Icy fingers scrabble at your back, burning you with cold as you finally unwedge yourself and stumble down the steps onto wet, peaty ground. The house lay quiet behind you. No sign of anything beyond the door. The chills on your back ache. They're so intense. Oh, thank God I actually did make it. Okay. My upper right leg was scratched. I need to put something on that. Oh yeah, I've still got these nasty old bandages here. Ew. Just leave those on the ground. Covered in blood. Okay. Well, as long as I don't die of cholera on the way back, I might be okay. D do you just, like, get better from cholera, or do you need antibiotics, or what? I don't know how cholera works. Also, I'm a little bit disturbed by the fact that it's called Cholera 2. Which makes me think it's even nastier than Cholera 1. I mean, sequels are usually worse than the originals, huh? I don't like it. What the fuck? No. No. Fuck off. I don't want to go to the house again. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I can actually just follow my footsteps back. Oh, fuck. I might just die of sickness on the way back. Player's diarrhea and vomiting has worsened. Player's skin is starting to take on a bluish tint. Fuck. So I've got cholera three! Shit. I don't know how to deal with it. I'm not even sure which one of these have... Santa sterilized water. I don't even care at this point. Just drink it all. I need water. I think I need to scavenge for medicine on the way back. A creepy stranger still there. Okay. Hey, dear. <laughs> its weapon is its hoof. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna catch a deer. I know I'm gonna threaten it. Rrr. It ran away. Rrr. Cool. Got the town to myself. Okay. Oh, crap. Just clicked out of the screen again. Medicine? I don't see any medicine. I do see a shoe that's in slightly better condition, though. Ooh, snack cakes. Player ate a packet of French-made blinky snack cakes. And some saltines. Okay, I don't think I need any more shirts. Life's a beach, then you die. Of smallpox. Charleston's Health Authority said Tuesday it is investigating 12 new smallpox cases, including one that has been linked to an emergent emergency landing of a private watercraft in the Atlantic. 
a number of the reported cases involve visitors to the South Carolina beaches. Dr. Sunil Reddy, senior medical officer at South Carolina Health Department, has ordered a general curfew of all beaches in the area until an investigation can be t conducted into the cause. Jesus, like a chemical spill or something? Nasty. Medicine, please. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's water purification tablets. I mean, that's great, but not exactly what I need at the moment. Aquapur. Obviously supposed to be pronounced Aquapur. But I prefer Aquapur. Actually, what does that have in it? Oh, it's just a stack of ten and a stack of three. Okay. I suppose I could test it out at the moment. Okay, how do I use it? Do I... I probably have to take it in the crafting screen, right? Yep. I can't even craft anything because I have no moves. <gasps> no! Fuck! Player has died of cholera. <clears throat> God damn it! <laughs> Fucking cholera. Uh. I don't know how to deal with it. I I don't know what cholera is exactly. How did I get it? Did you get it from drinking bad water? Should I have been purifying my water to begin with? Not that I had much of a choice. I didn't have a pot to even boil anything with at the beginning. I don't know, I wonder if you can boil water in like a soup can or something. Well shit, four days, 10.85 hours. That was a good life. That was one of my best actually. I think that's the furthest I've gotten before. I've never been able to get into the DMC. <sighs> well, there's the end of life number one. Thank you for watching.